What's up guys, Celestia here again and bringing you another guide for Wukong. So this is for anybody who's actually having trouble getting all the random drops for these items. I actually farmed for a little bit the other day and pretty much managed to get all the items I needed for, for the game. So there's a lot of random drops for like the drinks and the soaks in this game, which are actually what are needed for a certain trophy in the game and obviously if you're going for the platinum you will need that trophy. So what I'm going to actually show you in this video is how to skip it because what happens is when you're farming these plants they only respawn every 30 minutes or so but you can actually do the same trick that you can do with quite a lot of games is you can alter the time on your PlayStation so that when you actually go back to the game all these things will be respawned. So every time I've been doing this I've been this is the one of the secret areas and I think chapter 3 it was? So in chapter 2 or 3, the, the Yellow Wind Valley or whatever it's called. So this is the secret area and the bit where you can farm licorice. But basically all I would do is I would just go to this shrine that you just saw and then out here is where you would just go all the different directions towards the, the licorice. I think there's about 5 or 6 licorice you can pick up here. And then each time you pick one up, you just have a chance of that goat skull that you just saw dropping. So you can pretty much do that for every single area in the game. Anytime you want to farm for a certain item, if it's something you can pick up, all you need to do is just reset the clock. So what I did is I always made sure it was an hour ahead. It usually takes about half an hour for the plants to respawn, but an hour just made it a bit easier. And then if you go above the day, just change it to another day and then do another hour. And then keep doing that until you can farm enough that you actually get the items you need. So it didn't actually take me too long doing it with this method. I believe maybe it took me... Obviously it depends on your luck, but I think it took me about 40 minutes to an hour-ish. And then I, I got the the licorice item that you need. You can do this for things like the ginseng and I believe there's the jade lotus as well that you need an item to drop from. There's a few other enemies in the game that require you to drop items but they can just be respawned from the, the shrines. So this is the main method to actually just reset the whole thing and just go through it again so you can actually get the items you need. So hopefully this has been helpful guys. I will be releasing a couple more videos probably today and tomorrow just so you guys can see a few more kind of tips and tricks for leveling or other ways to get um, well and things like that so you can upgrade weapons. But hopefully this has been helpful. You guys have a great day. Let me know how you're enjoying the game down below in the comments. I'm loving it. I am almost through my first playthrough because I've not really had much time to play it on stream. But yeah, it's great so far. So I'm, I'm loving it. But anyway, you guys have a great day. I will see you in the next guide video. And yeah, enjoy the game. Bye-bye.